So I thought I would do a quick review of the first episode of Clipped, or more just sharing my thoughts of it, as I'm a big Clipper fan and I remember this story well. So Clip starts off in 2013 when Doc Rivers first becomes the head coach of the Clippers, but it's really about the Don Sterling drama that ended his time as owner, and, well, it hasn't quite got there yet. Uh, so what I did like is, well, I actually like the drama part of it a lot. It's actually a very good show so far. And, and that's what is a drama series. I think if you don't know much about the story and you just want to watch a drama series, it's definitely one for you. I think they do a good job of setting up the dynamic between Don Sterling, his wife Shelly, and V. Stiviano, who obviously uh, went viral with the clips of what Sterling has said and showing that. It also does a good job of not really playing too many hero parts. Sterling obviously is not a good person. And V. Stiviano, I never felt was a good person either. I think she just outed uh, him and well, as that helped the Clippers out a lot. It really don't think she should be played as a hero either. It also really likes to play into how the Clippers were a bottom feeder franchise and the stinginess, money-wise, of Don Sterling. And I like that too. A lot to like. The basketball players, Blake Griffin and Chris Paul, they do go into a little about how those two didn't get along with each other. And whereas I've definitely heard rumors and probably even confirmed by the two, I'm curious how much of that is Hollywoodized and how much is true. So there's some of that. Uh, but they're really just a, a side piece, a side character of the show. They don't do a whole lot, at least in the first episode, as it's more about the off-court drama. A few nitpicks, I would say, as a Clipper fan. Well, first thing, I love Lawrence Fishburne as an actor. Who doesn't? But I wish he would do the Doc Rivers voice, the raspy voice. He doesn't really do that. A few times I hear it come out a little bit, but a lot of times he's just doing regular Lawrence Fishburne voice. Where's that raspy Doc River voice? Come on. Come on, guys. I can't do it very good. But even in the movie Uncut Gems, they did a better job of at least trying to do that. Another thing in the movie is that they play a lot of the surprise of Doc Rivers going to the Clippers and how he wanted a challenge. Where if you remember in real life, Boston was rebuilding. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce were getting older. They might have just been traded. Uh, Ray Allen had left for the Heat as he was getting older as well. I mean, the team was in a big rebuild, and I think he wanted out. And Chris Paul was one of the best, if not the best, point guard at the time. Blake Griffin, the number one overall pick, was entering his prime, was an all-star at that time of his career. There was definitely a, a team to coach there, and they just needed a coach. As Vinny Del Negro had just been fired. So I think they overplay the whole he just wanted a challenge part as they were a talented team. They were also in the playoffs before he had gotten there. The team, they, they don't mention that either way, but kind of alludes that they were terrible before he got there. So I wish they would have touched on that a bit, but again, it's a drama series, so they gotta, they got to play it up a little bit. I get it. I get it. But just as a sports fan, you know, you kind of have to look back and remember it, you know, just the nitpicks. Overall, it's a, good, a solid start to the show. Uh, I'll be looking forward to watching it. It's on FX, and you can watch it on Hulu as well. So let me know if you like this review and these thoughts. Let me know your thoughts if you remember the show, or if you remember the event, I should say, when it happened. And if you'd like me to do more, just uh, let, like this video and give us a subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.